tanning lotion, protective eyewear, and the perfect golden tan. Everything seems to be present at Oasis Tanning in Boardman, but 20-year-old business owner Jessica Katsaras tells me that her usual demographic may soon be missing if a new tanning bill becomes state law. We work all year long for prom season. That's, that's the, the main time. Spring break, kids that go on spring break, and you know we have so many people that come in here, like kids that are underage, that parents bring them in here, so that way they don't burn on spring break. They... It's all going to change if it passes, and and that makes me nervous because I don't know what it's going to be like. A new tanning bill in the state of Ohio is being revived, this time for health reasons. It was introduced again on May 6th by Ohio State Representative Courtney Combs. The proposal hopes to prohibit minors from being able to fake bake at tanning salons. The problem is the parents aren't educated in uh, what the, uh, uh, the dangers of uh, ultraviolet radiation are uh, to young skin. In place of the current parental consent form, a similar document must be signed by a physician to allow teens to tan. Dermatologist Dr. Jennifer Lloyd says there is no reason a person practicing medicine should ever prescribe tanning. I mean, other than mental well-being, people seem happier when the sun's out, especially in Youngstown, but there are no benefits to being out in the sun. The cumulative effects are not worth it. There are two different types of rays that are released through tanning beds, much like this one. There are UVA rays and UVB rays. Now, both are dangerous, but they cause different types of damage. UVA rays penetrate the skin to its deepest layers, causing it to lose elasticity. Think of A for aging. On the other hand, UVB rays have shorter wavelengths, and they cause the first layer of skin to redden. Think of B for burning. Tanning beds and having unprotected sun, getting your vitamin D, they're telling you to go outside for 15 minutes without any sunscreen on a day. And uh, to me, unprotected sun is like unprotected sex. I mean, you're taking a chance every day that you could be getting a melanoma. It's equivalent to a sexually transmitted disease. Katsaris, like Lloyd, also makes an interesting comparison about the harmful effects of tanning. People right now are considering tanning like smoking. That's, I mean, smoking causes cancer, tanning causes cancer is what they're, you know, the, the big deal about it is, but that's like saying, go ahead and light up to a 13-year-old. According to Combs, the bill is supported by the American Medical Association, Ohio State Medical Association, Ohio Dermatology Society, American Academy of Dermatology, American Academy of Pediatrics, and the Skin Cancer Foundation. This is a health issue uh, that uh, there could be a tremendous uh, uh, decrease in uh, the cause of uh, melanoma uh, and uh, besides the pain and suffering that's caused by this disease, uh, it would also save a lot of health care dollars. Because of the buzz from these bulbs, May is now being recognized as Melanoma Skin Cancer Detection and Prevention Month. In Youngstown, with the Jambar, I'm Robin Musgrove.